All right, with regards to the uh, clutch housing here, the bell housing, I found the bolts I need to be concerned with. We already got the obvious ones on the outside of the uh, housing, but the flex plate has another uh, attachment. I don't know if it's a flex plate, but it's there's bolts holding what I think is the flex plate onto the uh, gear, onto the starter gear. But you got to hold the gear. I'm using that screwdriver right now so that when you're taking the bolts out, it doesn't try to turn the whole thing. Yeah, you can probably see better. Here's where the last one I took out. I don't know how dark it is under there, but uh, so I'm turning it until I get to the next one of those. Kind of wish I had the starter hooked up right now. <laughs> that would uh, make light work. I feel one coming around. So it feels like there might be exactly four of those. Uh, Brian uh, and I were looking it up at work and he sent me a document that I'd run across and uh, it is exactly as described there so I'm glad we found that because it was not easy to see okay once this one comes loose I don't know if it's just going to fall right off of there I suspect that there is a I suspect it fits in to a cavity, so it might have to pull straight out. I'm trying to keep my toes and the camera out of the way, I suppose. Because I'm not really sure what's going to happen to it. There's the other one. Better hit that. Some PB blaster. Oh, shit. I'm not affiliated with them, but uh, I think this is the best shit out there. Smells funky, but I don't know. might mean there's still other stuff holding this on. I would expect it to get kind of tight if that was the only thing holding this bell housing on. And now there will be some springs working against us here. <coughs> the main spring. <coughs> Oh, look, doesn't turn with it now. Huh? Just decouple couple of you. Now, there's probably some fucking tool for that, now that I think about it. Oh. Oh, yeah, baby. It still feels like it's hanging on something. Hanging on a bolt or something. The shift lever might be interfering with this and holding it uh, onto the other side of this housing. So that might be a thing. I might have to take that lever off. That's probably just holding this in the back here. Okay, let me go. I need a light or something. I see in there and uh, go around the other side. Be back soon. All right, here's where I think I need to uh, focus. This would have been uh, connected to the linkage for the gearbox. In kind of an unfortunate place being down low that I can uh, rotate that. I hate spring pins, man. Almost always get hurt with them. Oh yeah, that was the cock for dolly boys. All right, thought she'd be out. Still not dead, you know. It's got wear, but not down to the rivets yet. Seen a fuck ton worse. Oh yeah, those are held in by the uh, springs. Anyway, I don't need to disassemble that anymore. Ow. All right, I'll be back.
made a bit of progress here. Clutch out. I think I showed this on the last video, but. Uh, Yeah, it's definitely been used. But see, the disc is not, uh, you know, rusty or heat checked or cracked or so. That's a fun, perfectly working clutch, I would think. <laughs> Excuse me. <sighs> Now if I can get all this off, I'll likely just sell this whole assembly along with the uh, gearbox. I've already got it up online for sale, but uh, I don't see why I shouldn't. I didn't put that on the ad, but uh, I guess if I do get this off today or sometime soon, I will uh, add it to the uh, buy and sell ad. I'm only asking $200 for the uh, gearbox. But it'll be a hell of a deal if someone gets a clutch and your body. We are at. Oh, hey. <laughs> Just hit it with a screwdriver until uh, it falls out. I did try to check last weekend and I got a little. What would my grandpa call it? A bark. Got a bark. Um, these hurt like hell, by the way. Just little. A little squish injury like that it's it's amazing how much pain that puts out <laughs> I don't like the pinchy pinchy uh, I'd rather cut myself than squish myself because the pain just doesn't go away very quick I do feel a couple of holes that might have a bolt uh, inside but it's impossible to tell without seeing it Yeah, this is already you know this is already sitting on the ground, so it really was need to get it turn over. I think. Oh, I may have found something. Ow! I may have found a bolt that goes. Kind of down. I think I can see the threads going there. So I need my pick. Oh no, that's just an open bolt hole. Now that I've cleaned it out, I can see sunlight. Now I could uh, reach in there and get this. Uh, maybe. The only thing holding it on now is the gear, starter, starter gear, flywheel, whatever people often call that. So if I maybe if I take all those out, maybe that's what's left holding this on to the engine. That would be cool. Now those are going to turn just like we had with the uh, clutch. Those are, it's going to want to turn. Um, Gonna want to turn the engine, I think. I'm pretend that's 1116, but I bet it's three quarters. Feels loose. Let's try. Those are torque down too. What I like is I don't think these bolts are very long. Huh. Anyway, that, that we might get. This might be the thing. Yeah, I think the wind is going to suck. I hate the sound of wind. It's the worst sound in the fucking world. Microphones hate wind. Okay, 
the bell housing still connected. But there's our flywheel gear. It's in good shape. Very good shape. That's some little, you know, fine hair cracks and stuff, but it's really not. It's totally run that. But we might be able to see now, because it's totally empty in there, where the fucking final bolts are. Oh, I feel a bolt. Two. Three. Three bolts, and then this is off. Maybe four. One, two. Three bolts. It's not possible to get at those with the flywheel. <laughs> not enough clearance. But at least I don't have to worry about holding the engine solid. This is, these are just right into the block. And also, when they come off, this is going to fall somewhere. Should probably cram some wood in there or something. I'll probably prevent it from falling on me anyway. And on you. Dodge seems to enjoy the 916 size where possible. I like consistency in that way. Oh yes. longer so these are going to be like the three inch ones that I bought in order to clamp the engine stand into the same holes so you see this is not nearly long enough to go through the stand and still have any thread so I bought I think the the, the longest one I found was three inch that'll only leave about three quarters of an inch of actual thread but I'm hoping that's adequate Hi, sweetie. Oh, boys. Yes. The ultimate cock for Dolly. Sorry? I'm talking to the camera, but... Oh, I'm sorry. The cock for Dolly came. I might, uh... But hold on, let me see. Um. No, sorry. Yeah. Not so tough now, are you, motherfucker? Now, interestingly, from what I'm seeing here, I'm not sure I can put the flywheel on and still mount the engine plate. You know what I'm saying? fingers right now but yeah we can hit more bolts anyway but you see there's no way that the uh, I don't think there's any way that the gear can go back on like that which is not a huge problem except I've got no way to turn it over um, or more more I can turn it over but I can't start it but I'm not going to worry about that right now because this was the this was the job, right? <sighs> How's that look? 
Uh, greasy, but for the edge of this motor, I'd say all the metal surfaces are really fucking good. You know, no crazy craft shit or whatever. Some point or other, someone had the oil pan off here because I got silicone. It's definitely lightened up. Uh, clutch and the housing coming off and the, and the gear. It's obviously not light, but well, I'm proud of the accomplishment. That was mandatory to get done. I'll figure out this whole bolt thing. Starting it on the stand might be an issue, but we'll tackle that when we get to it. Possibly next weekend we will try to get this thing uprighted or turned over. Get all the side accessories off. Take the head off. Oil pan. And lighten it up as much as possible. Try and get it on the stand maybe with a couple of people or something. And then, uh, well, then the, we'll get into phase three. All right. All right, well, thanks for watching. Thanks for... Uh, support and everything. You, people seem to be kind people and you seem to be interested in uh, what kind of crazy bullshit I got going on here. So uh, yes, do take care. I will talk soon and uh, until then, bye.